Hey, what's going on, there, guys? My name is Minecraft Mix here, and today we're playing some Minecraft Storm Mode Season 2, Episode 1. Here we are with Resonance. Um, let's go with this character. Start Episode 1. Uh, I have to do it in black borders because. Um, so it doesn't lag that much, but we'll see what we can do. If it looks bad, we'll put. Um, the resolution up a bit so we can see it clearly. I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living. And guys, uh, let's put subtitles on. their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Oh, oh uh huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but. It was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound okay, cool, um, and that's a good thing. <laughs> it's anything yeah, for a good story. but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. It's all fair game if it's helping you to tell a good story. It's not like you're lying to, like, trick anyone. Yeah. See, that's exactly what I thought. If you're planning on including schematics, we should talk, though. I think I'm okay. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's founding day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. It that that took a cool, lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. See. You did so it much, Jesse. You're a real again. hero. But we all did, right? Yeah. We were all there. For uh, most of it, I'll anyway. It hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse. Oh, yeah. You're uh, in turn. Also, I forgot to tell you the new captain is in the video. Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Radar. Oh, gosh. Um, wow. Jack. I didn't know all of you would be in Isn't here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir. Lucas, sir, so sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. Uh, cool, right? Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Righto, right. Awesome. I kind of liked it. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. Oh, We've no, actually got to. our own founding day stuff we need to prep for. Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT team. rally in the morning. Guys, we're supposed to be a team here. It's our adventure night. Sorry, Jesse. It's just that things are different now. You got your life, we got ours. None of us can just drop everything and go adventuring like we used to. Tell Petra I said, next time for sure, okay? 
I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. This I can't believe I'm walking out of the order hall with the order. <laughs> oh, so freaking cute. Oh, I didn't. Okay, that's nice. It's just the resol resolution. Uh, let's just turn, pull up a bit more. Let's go here. Let's see if this is better. Nah. I will right, we'll put it back. Oops, I don't want to go to my menu. Let's put it back where it was before. Um, over here, maybe. Okay, let's go for this. Uh, apply. So, the other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Of course. We were all part of taking down the Witherstorm. Redstonia even hosts the whole dance in Eligard's honor. Yeah, it's mostly TNT and fireworks in Boomtown. Magnus let me help design the firework finale this year. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Uh, yeah, I really miss you guys. This has been great. Uh, won't be the same without you guys. Ah, buddy. You're gonna make me sad. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. Yeah, but yeah, I just wish I could have hung out with my friends more. We're all so busy now. That is hard. But at least they come back to visit a bunch? That's pretty awesome. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, uh, let's go. Look at this tiki head. I bet one of those would look awesome on the Order Hall's front lawn. Mm. Oh, wait, it's just like, nah, that's cool. Okay, uh, let's go. Um, over here. Stevie and Stacy's over there, yay. Okay. Let's go check out them. Jesse, dude! Oh, Nell. Nell, I thought you were out seeing the worlds. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though? Like, I love danger and daring do as much as what the next adventure? person. I can't believe you settled down. I thought you were all about the wandering, the adventure. Look, <laughs> you make it all sound really good again when you put it like that. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Which thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! Hey. Let's go get this clay. Over here. Ah, uh, a blank canvas. Oh no, we have to put something. Okay. Here. To put something random. Okay, like this. This will be good. Uh, like this. Uh, here. This is 
is like a chair. Um, a chair for now. Here we go. This, this is a perfect statue. That is some sweet work. Nice. You nice. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo. And do be a stranger, okay? Okay. Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. <laughs> yeah, kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the... Mineshaft. Oh, this Stimpy mm -hmm. Stacy. Let's go check out them. Stimpy and Stacy, I'm coming. Whoa! Oh, Wink, get back here. Leave Jesse alone. Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. Oh, uh, we should hang out. Well, it's so great to see you. We need to hang out. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, totally. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse. Give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Uh, Here, Wink. Nice tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Haha, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. See Stimpy and Stacy. Let's go here. I'm not gonna check out rooms more. It will make me a bit sad since we've died by the room storm. Uh, but let's get the sugar cane. Might need some to get some sugar. Sugar, nice. Okay, let's go. Uh, can we check out Stimpy and Stacy again? Oh, we'll go over here first. Over here. Jesse! Well, hey, hey, look who it is! Jesse, hey! Hey, guys, what are you doing? Glad you asked. We're working on a new game for Founding Day that I guarantee you is going to be all the rage this year. Slime diving. Oh, slime diving. <gasps> Want to give us a hand finishing it up? I'll let you take the first dive. Bob designed the schematics, didn't that you, Bob? That sounds great. Yep. That sounds awesome. Let's do it. We're going to be diving off this excellent pagoda Bob designed, but we can't decide what material to use. Thoughts? Uh, which which one should I pick? Um, I'm just conflicted stone, because I like all of them. Oh, wait, oh, we stone. know you do, Bob, but Wooden. don't worry. Wooden. Jesse's gonna help us settle this. Wood's a classic choice. Oh, Let's go with that. Okay, buddy. Uh, Actually, it looks pretty nice like this. Nice. Oh, that geez. turned out great. And just like I promised, you can take the first dive. Just aim for the slime! Uh, which one should be great! One dive, double Go, twist, Jesse! Woohoo! Oh, I'm uh, nervous. Don't worry. Uh, double, Jesse, uh, you'll love it. I hope you're right. <laughs> Woohoo! Ta-da! Thanks, everyone. Jesse, that was incredible. I went for the belly flop. Seriously, amazing dive! Thank you for that. Thank you for the help before. No problem. Look, my friend's waiting, so I gotta run, but nice work. Okay, I'm just gonna be here. Let's go check out Stampy and Stacy. Hello, Jesse. Hello, Stampy. I am telling you, Stampy, it needs to be pumpkin pie. But cake is the best, and I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. There's some sort of problem here, guys. Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours, and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go with those leading presentations again. Just, not uh, everyone likes both? cake, Stampy. Why don't we have both? Well, that's a wonderful idea, but we don't have enough ingredients. It's true. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide for us. Yes, I fear we're going to be debating in circles all day otherwise. <laughs> you know, there 
there might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet you could find enough to do cake and pie. Uh, I don't have a ton of time, but I bet they'd be super surprised by that. Yeah, they would. Yeah, let's, um, I, I saw some chicken, so I'd be... Let's go get an egg by chicken. Here we go, um... Give me hey, an egg. an egg! Maybe that'll help me settle Stampy and Stacy's little disagreement. Uh, excuse me, ma'am? Thank you. Okay. Let's go to the crafting table over here. Let's go put the sugar cane over here in the crafting table. There we go. Okay, uh, let's go. Like here. Let's make a pumpkin cut pie first. I got it in my head, so I know how to make it. Make it first. Um, so. Okay, uh, let's go over here. Egg in the middle. Um, milk up top. And then wheat at the bottom. Okay, here we go. Let's make this egg. Okay, uh, oopsies. Sorry, guys. Oh, okay, let's go. Oh. Yeah, both. He said cake, she said pie, and then I said, why don't we just have both? Oh, well, this is very surprising. Yeah, that's awesome. How did you do that? Well, found some extra ingredients around town. No big deal. Well, that's fantastic, Jesse. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. This is perfect. Look, I gotta run. Petra's waiting. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Okay, Bye. let's go um, to the mine gates. To the main gates. Oh, so we can meet up with Petra. Okay, over here. Day made. You're my hero. Okay, there we go. And here we are at the mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Oh no, thank you, Jesse. It was a pleasure watching you work. It truly was. Stopping to help all those people. No helping problem. them prepare for founding day. Hopefully you Very inspiring. Get mad at me for being late. I'll uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your uh, adventure I'll things. You. Got all the faith in the world, buddy. You got this. Thanks, Jesse. I won't let you down. Bye. Have a good time. Don't I always? Okay, here we go. Down into mines. Petra? Huh, I swear she said to meet right here. Where's Petra? Petra! Where are you? No! Oh, stupid zombie! Ah, oh, I miss this. Zombies. <laughs> oh, smell not so much. Punctual and kicking butt. Nice. Hey to you too, Petra. <laughs> hey, 
Glad to see you remember how to use your sword. I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Yeah, it's been Managing a while. people, signing papers. Ugh. Yeah, I guess it has been a while since I've done this. Well, that's obvious. You're not even wearing a good suit of armor. I didn't want to dent the good stuff, so what? And look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Yeah, where's the soul picture? Oh, man, no more zombies, is Look alive. These deadheads should help you dust off those cobwebs. <laughs> <laughs> Too slow, zombies. Typical. Oh, it's nothing up. No. Look out there, Jesse. I will say, I really appreciate you making it on time. It means a lot okay, to me. Okay, we're actually on time. I sometimes worry you don't have time for your friends anymore. But I'm gonna leave an episode of Minecraft Summer Season. Uh, I mean. Minecraft Storm Mode Season 2, Episode 1 here. Leave a like and leave a comment and enjoy this first episode of Minecraft Storm Mode Season 2. But until next time, guys, I'll see you again soon. Bye, guys.